everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine, for those that don't know me, and for those that do, welcome back. So I have to say, it's the most wonderful time of the year. It is the Sephora VIB sale. Actually, I say that's questionable that it's wonderful because who doesn't love sales on makeup, but it's not, I think, the best, the most wonderful time for a bank account. But anyway, uh, so the Sephora sale is coming up and I just wanted to go over with you and chat about some of the products that are on my wish list. To give you a little background on the sale, it does start for Rouge members on April 9th until the 19th and of course they get their 20% off. I'm personally a VIB um, so I'll be able to start shopping on April 13th until the 19th and then Beauty Insiders get their 10% off and that's from April 15th to April 19th. And if you haven't signed up for Sephora's rewards program, it's not the best, but you know, you do get a free gift on your makeup or a free makeup gift on your birthday. And you know, you do get this discount about two times a year. Um, otherwise, I can't say it's the best program. And for those that are buying anything, don't forget to use Recruitin or however it's pronounced now because that's going to get you even more money back, even though I find they lower it to like barely anything at this time. Um, but like I said, I just wanted to go through and talk about some products that have caught my eye and that I would like to pick up during the sale. I don't know if I'll actually get any of these, but you never know. I might. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to kick it off with is the Fenty Skin Fenty Skin Starter Set. It took a while for Fenty Skin to come to Sephora. Um, it was out a long, it was out a lot longer on their site and then finally they got it to Sephora and I have to admit like I haven't heard a huge hype around it. Like everybody was like, oh Fenty Skin, it's going to be flawless. But you know, after it launched, it's been really quiet. I never hear anybody talk about it, and I don't see a lot of videos either. But I did want to try it, and this set caught my eye because you do get three products for $52. So in this set, you get the Fat Water, which I heard so much about, the Total Cleanser Remove It All Cleanser, and the Hydro Visa Invisible Moisturizer, and that is SPF 30. Um, and I like the idea how it has a fresh dessert melon scent. I think that smells good. I know a lot of people are not for scents in their skincare, but it really doesn't bother me. And my skin is okay and I use like a lot of scented products. Um, but I wanted to try this starter kit because I think it's a real, it has, you know, three of their top products and it's a good way to try it. And it's only $52. So you might see me pick that up. The next thing I wanted to try is the Isle of Paradise self tanning body butter. So this is $33. I am so scared it's going to sell out before the sale. It has been in and out of stock lately and it's just really popular. What I like about this is I don't I've never encountered any other product like this. I use body butter every day. So the idea that I can have a tanner in my body butter is just, it's like a perfect combo. And I'm pretty tanned right now, actually. I've been using a drugstore tanner and uh, I'm going to like a Nordic spa this weekend. Um, so I wanted to look like very tanned in my bikini, but I'm really impressed. But anyway, back to this. Um, you do get a fair amount and it looks really nice. It has avocado oil, peppermint oil, and coconut oil. And it actually looks like it gives you like a really nice natural tan. I've heard great things about Isle of Paradise. I actually haven't tried any other products. I did buy a kit, which I'll talk about maybe at the end, um, which does have that product in it. But fingers crossed that this product stays in or stays available during the sale, but I know. It's probably not. The next thing I wanted to try is from Liss Beauty. So Liss Beauty or L-Y-S Beauty. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Um, but I want to try their Triple Fix Serum Foundation. It looks really nice. And I like the idea of serum foundations, especially for summer, because I don't like to wear a thick foundation in the summer. I do like a serum and kind of like a... Kind of like a light to medium coverage is all I need in the summer. And I'd really like to try this product. They are a black owned brand. That's really important to me. 
and there's a really good shade range so I could probably find something that's going to fit me. It's only $28.52 so on a Sephora scale I think that's really cheap for a product. Um, it has really good stars too. Hopefully, well I think this will stay in stock. I don't know actually. Oh I don't even think my shade is in stock right now. Who knows, maybe it will come back in stock, but as of right now, it looks like it is not, so I probably won't be getting that product. The next thing I want to try is from Merit Beauty. This is another beauty, new beauty brand to Sephora. And what I wanna try is the Flush Balm Cream Blush. This is $36. Oh my God, it is. Okay, the color I wanted is out of stock. Um, but they do have five colors, and the color I wanted was Cheeky, which is a cool pink. I actually do like a darker blush, and that's out of stock, and so is the peachy one. My two, the two ones I wanted. Oh, it's so depressing, but this actually reminds me of an EOS lip balm. Let me know if you grew up with those. Um, but I really like how you just, like, rub this on your cheeks, and it looks very easy to blend. My friend Alana actually did a video on Merit Beauty and the products looked really nice and really natural. That's kind of the vibe I'm going for right now so I think I would like this. Um, the blush looks very blendable too. Like just that natural rosy glow and it is $36 so that actually is expensive for a cream blush now that I think about like the $1 ones I got from Shop Miss A or the one I got from Quo Beauty, like this is definitely a lot more expensive, but they look really nice. And I'm just realizing now I really like the terracotta color too. So I may get one of these. I might not. It's on my wish list though. I really would like to try one. The next thing is the Ole Hendrickson Wrinkle Blur Bacchial Eye Gel Cream. Probably butchered that um, but this is $66 it's been on my list and on my radar since I saw it on Treadmood I do like the orange or no I'm thinking orange because it's in an orange container but I do like the banana bright cream I didn't notice a huge difference but I think this one would actually be a lot better for me because it blurs the look of lines around the eyes um, and it helps with dark circles too. Those are my biggest concerns. I haven't really tried, I, the eye cream I'm using right now from Derma E isn't too bad. I actually like it. Um, but this one I think would be really good. I do like Ole Hendrickson products. I know a lot of people are kind of like phasing them out and not liking them as much, but I do think I'd like to try this. But $66 for an eye cream is pretty pricey, but now I'm thinking of the Olay ones, and they're expensive too. They're like $40, so I guess why not spend like an extra $22 and get an Olay Hendrickson one? That's kind of my rationale, so you may actually see me pick that up. The next thing is a new set that I noticed the other day, and it is from Tower 28 Beauty, and it is the Power Lip and Cheek Duo. I absolutely love my Tower Beauty um, lip gloss, which I got in their holiday set. Really good lip gloss. Gives, like, those juicy lips. Um, doesn't, it gives a little bit of residue, I will admit that. Um, but I just, I really like it. And this set, you actually get their Shine On Milky Lip Jelly. So I haven't tried that gloss. And then you get their Beach Please Cream Blush. If you can't tell, like, I'm on a cream blush, like, thing right now. I think it looks really nice and I actually like how the cream blush and the milky jelly on lip gloss they pair very nicely together and they just look so good on the model especially people too with a darker complexion. I think this would be really great for summer and really it's only $34 for $44 value. It's not too bad. And I really just like Tower Beauty. Like, that's becoming a brand that I really like. So, sticking with Tower 28 Beauty, I also want to try their Mini SOS Save Our Skin Daily Rescue Facial Spray. Um, this is $16. I know Samantha March has talked a lot about this. And this is just like a facial refresher spray that actually works with your skin. Like, during the day when you're freshening up, it actually has um, some different kinds of, like, acids and chlor uh, chloride in it. 
um, to really just nourish your skin and cleanse it. And when you actually look at the picture, you can see like the difference. I don't suffer from acne. I do have like a few pimples here and there. Um, but I think too, like if you're wearing a mask for a long time, it's really going to help with that. Um, so I think I, like I want to try this spray because it actually looks like a facial spray that's going to do something for my skin as opposed to the other kind of like setting sprays I have that probably just don't really do anything but take my money. Uh, so that is on my list. The next product is the Dermalogica Neck Fit Contour Serum. I'm really paranoid. Like, I don't want a wrinkly neck, and I always am looking to see if my neck looks wrinkly. I do put a lot of, like, skincare on my neck. Um, same with on my chest, because I find that is an easy way to tell someone's age. Um... But I really like this product. I really want to try this product. It is $116, so it is on the expensive side. I actually do find Dermalogica products work. I've tried many other products, and I do enjoy it. And what I like about this is that you just roll this serum onto your neck, and it says it visibly tones and tightens. There isn't a lot of reviews on Sephora, which is kind of crappy. It only has two, but they are five-star but I don't know what the products were sent or what the deal is. And I haven't heard a lot about this, but I'm just banking to say that if it is Dermalogica, it's probably a high quality product. We are almost done. The next thing is the, this is another new brand from Sephora. I actually haven't tried any other products, nor have I heard a lot about it. I did see um, JS Approved did um, like a TikTok on this and it is the Dew Blush Liquid Cheek Blush. This looks really nice. They do have four different colors. Um, the rosy color and the poppy color, so like the coral, um, would be the ones that caught my eye. It is $28, so it is not as expensive as the Merit Beauty, but still quite expensive. Um, and it actually has a doe foot applicator, so I think that's kind of cool. Like, you just apply it on your cheeks. Um, it looks like it gives, like, a really nice natural rosy glow. In terms of reviews, it does have a five-star review, so that is kind of tempting. And I would like to try this brand because it's always fun to try new brands. It can be disappointing, um, but I am trusting the reviewers of Sephora. Um, so this does look interesting. I might try this. The final thing on my list is from my last video. Um, you may have, if you haven't watched it, you definitely should. Um, but I did get the new Sol de Janeiro um, Boom Dia Bright Body Cream. And I feel like that's so fun to say. Like, you have to just be like, boom, instead of... I thought it was bomb at first, but it's definitely fun to say. Um, so I wanted to get the larger size because at first I didn't think I liked it. But it would be really nice to have, like, a florally kind of scent. Um, as opposed to, like, the coconut ones, which I have. They are $27. It is $27 for the mini one, so a little bit pricey. Um, but this would be the time to pick it up, and that's what I said in my video. That would be when I would recommend anyone should pick it up. Today, I did cave in, and I did buy something um, before the sale. I know, so bad, but I always have a fear. Like, if there's something I really want, it always tends to send um, to sell out during the sale, um, so what I picked up today is the new Skincare on the Fly set. It was only $36. It is $117 value. That alone, I was like, wow, I actually haven't seen a set with that high of a value for that cheap of a price for a while. So I did pick it up, and what is in this set is the Biosance uh, Squalene Algae Eye Cream. So maybe I'll try that eye cream before the Ole Hendrickson one. Um, you do get a Colody Instant Foaming Cleanser. I'm a huge fan of their skincare. The Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. I actually haven't tried any. I haven't tried that. It's been a while since I've tried pharmacy products. Um, the Isle of Paradise Color Correcting Self-Tanning Drops. I'd like to try those. The Kate Somerville Liquid Exfolicate Triple Acid Resurfacing Treatment. I'd really like to try that. Um, the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm Pair. I'm almost out of my lip balm, and I really like those, and I think for summer it will be good too. And you do get a full size of that, so that's really good. And then you get the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom uh, Body Scrub, which I actually haven't tried. For all that, I was like, okay, that's a really good deal. I am going to splurge, and then 
too. Like the samples were actually really good. Not that I'll probably get the ones I requested. Let me know if you have gotten the samples from Sephora that you have requested. I think like the last three orders, I have not gotten the samples that I wanted, which is kind of frustrating. Um, and then the deluxe samples were really good too. That was a mouthful, but that was everything that's on my Sephora li uh, wish list. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or if they're on your wish list as well. I'd also like to know any other products that are on your wish list because I always get great recommendations from all of you. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I thank you for all of your love and support. It really means the world to me and I hope you have a great day.